They're at a great price. Usually, uh -huh. I think tropical, and I think expensive. First yes. of all, um, here it's the first day that Look you can actually beautiful. pick it up on Easy Pay. Thirteen dollars and sixty-eight oh, cents. We rarely get Easy Pay. Uh, and we also really, I mean, we just got this, so we're lucky to still have a little bit still left in stock here. Right. Um, but we're getting popular. different varieties here, right? We are. We're getting different varieties, and what you're really getting is the newest improvement in Red Hot Pokers in 75 years, the newest wow. improvement. These uh, Red Hot Pokers are typically um, five to seven feet tall. Okay. You know, so popsicle varieties like you're looking at right there, popsicle means dwarf, you know, and everybody's loving all of our dwarf plants. So uh, they're the new rage, why? Because you don't have to have a huge estate or a big garden. You can grow mm -hmm. them right in containers. Okay. You can grow them in your flower beds up front and center. Okay. You're not relegated to put them far, far away because who would want to put them far away? Because these are gonna draw hummingbirds, butterflies, and all those beneficial um, uh, pollinators that we love to see in the garden. Now, is the red hot poker, is that a tropical plant? You know what, it's national, uh, flower I believe of South Africa. Ah. <clears throat> now they're called in the industry the South African daylily. I Why? Because they're tough as nails. Okay. It's a power perennial that comes back every year. These are winter hardy you know down to minus 30 degrees below zero. Wow. So they'll grow from Minnesota Hopefully down to Miami. Hopefully I never Miami. have to experience I that. I know. <laughs> but some of the country has and, and does you know. So this is the uh, popsicle the lemon popsicle oh it's then we so have cute. the mango and we have the papaya and you are getting all three in this set and look at these two and a half feet tall wow that's maximum not five to seven wouldn't these be beautiful in containers lining a walkway a patio a poolside what kind of um sun do they like um like most power perennials this likes the hot full sun great they are perfect companions like me. <laughs> me too i love the sun too <laughs> for the uh meditation um uh, echinaceas that we were showing you the cone flowers okay they're great with another one of our favorite dwarf uh growing trees and that's the hibiscus oh, okay. again those used to have to be seven eight feet tall yeah. but now if you're not growing dwarf folks you should be oh and here comes devin good oh, oh, you're what's reading this? my mind Thank you. This, this is the hibiscus? That's the hibiscus. Oh. It's one of several of our uh, compact short dwarf varieties. We have them all on QVC.com. We even have potted vegetables that you can grow in a sunny window or on a deck. So I love that. The, even a lemon it. tree, yeah. which unfortunately we don't have. I love the lemon tree. <laughs> yeah, that's a dwarf now, one. Um, I got to ask you, all right. how, uh, how long to get flowers like this to grow? Well, you're, I'll show you exactly how you're going to do it. So okay. you're going to get three of them, and they're going to be blooming for you the very first season. They couldn't be easier to grow. Wow. So you're going to get one of uh, each of the three colors, mango, papaya, and lemon. I like the names. I do too. I love them. I wish we got to name them, but we don't. But they <laughs> pick cute names sometimes, and I enjoy this one. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these pots, and I want to show you the root system here, and I want to explain to you that these have been vernalized. Vernalization that mean? means that it's had its first season of cold weather. Oh. That gets them to bloom even faster for you and just makes them grow more vigorously. So you put this in. Is that something special that Roberta's does that we don't often? Yeah, you, a lot of like nurseries can't do that. Like if I just walked into that. a store, no, I wouldn't no, see that. No, no, no. Because they're using the seed and then they sell them right out. But we keep them, we vernalize them, and then we ask you to feed with the Hawaiian flower magic that's coming up next in our um, begonia and the minerals. Now this the is the minerals. Flourish. Yeah, water this mm -hmm. in, set this outside in the hot full sun. This is gonna be blooming for you like this in about 90 days. From wow. this over here to what you see right there With all those in 90 colors. days. And, and that's all the colors that we're seeing. Yeah, all three, and so look how pretty. We can put all the all colors in, in one, one pot? pot. Yeah, uh, I was showing you here in a 10 inch pot, which is good for one, but use a 15 inch pot and you can put all three in the set. So pick up several containers uh, uh -huh. and pick up several sets of these. And okay, so we're getting three of them. We could put them all in one pot, and mm -hmm. then if I wanted, how would you recommend planting them if I wanted it to be like in the ground by my house? Well, okay, so you give them about three feet of space okay. in between each plant. So this would make a nine foot border. So you consider, okay. well, how many feet would I like? 
and they don't grow that tall, so you don't have to worry um, about where you're plant, planting them. They can go in the front to middle of okay. your garden bed. But I like them in the hot, sunny areas. You put them where the uh, hose doesn't reach because okay. the deer won't bother them. They're power perennials, and you will have flowers on your plant every year. These come back June, July, August, September, and October. Wow. That is why they call them the South African daylily. Like Devin said, with the daylily, you could run over them with a lawnmower and they're just <laughs> going to come right back. I feel like I remember Stephanie saying that about yeah. these. And what's nice too is to have, you know, flowers in our garden, first of all, that have these bright tropical colors, but then attract the wildlife. They right? attract the wildlife. And we have a beautiful butterfly bush that's coming up, which is going to help the food source for the, um, the monarch. Monarchs. But they will, all of our plants will attract um, the wildlife and they come with a growing guide. Mm -hmm. Katie, this is our Roberta's growing guide. It tells you inside everything that you need to know about the plants, give you tips on where, where to grow it. And you might, oh now is that supposed to come back? Do I need to dig it up? It tells you all that kind of stuff right in here. And our uh, Gotta Grow guarantees on the back. Right, and don't lose these. But of course, if you ever have any questions, we could contact Roberta's, right? If we were ever confused. Okay, so yes. for this set, remember it's a three piece, really beautiful tropical colors with cute food names. The lemon, yeah. the mango, and the papaya. $27.36. Refreshing on a hot summer day, I know, names. Well, with the colors. <laughs> now, it's the first day you get to take advantage of the $13.60. $0.68. That's on easy pay, so any major credit card, but that goes away at the end of the day. And you guys travel to find all of this, you right? Know, we do. My grandmother started the company